The number of children you're going to have is a very personal decision, and so is the rate at which you have them, but there are some things to consider when you're thinking about how far apart your baby should be. Um, first of all, research has shown that for the well-being of parents, the newborn, and older siblings, it's best that babies are two and a half to three years apart, and that's from the delivery of one to the delivery of the next. At a bare minimum, it's best to wait at least 12 to 18 months before trying to conceive again because babies who are born closer together than that um, increase the risk of placental abruption during pregnancy, preterm labor and delivery, low birth weight. It depletes the mom stores because she just got done with one pregnancy and was probably nursing that baby and then gets pregnant again. This can contribute to nutrient, nutrient depletion for her and the growing baby. So if two and a half years is about the minimum that you want to shoot for, it does take a few months for most couples to try to conceive, and that means that at a minimum, you should wait till your baby is about 18 months old before you start conceiving, 12 months at the very least. Studies have shown that babies that are born closer than 12 to 18 months apart, um, there's a, a lot of risks that come to the mother and the baby during pregnancy. She's at higher risk for placental abruption, placenta previa. If she had a C-section in the past, she's at higher risk for uterine, uterine rupture. Um, it also increases the chances of things like preterm delivery, low birth weight, even stillbirth. And a few studies have shown that the second born is more prone to autism. If you had a really complicated pregnancy or delivery last time, this is a really good reason to talk with your doctor and see if they have advice for you on how far apart your kids should be. There are circumstances that warrant waiting a little bit longer than the norm and, and they'll be able to give you further information. You can use that in helping, me, helping you to make your decision about how far apart your kids should be. There are a few other things to consider in addition to health risks to the mother and the baby. One is, are you financially able to care for another baby? Another is, um, how is your older child going to do with it? Do they have special needs? Do they have behavioral problems that you've been having to work at? Um, it's been difficult, it's taken up a lot of your time, and adding a baby into the mix may not be a good idea. What's their temperament? How are they going to receive that baby? Another thing to consider is your stress level. What other demands do you have in your life? And are you emotionally capable of caring for multiple small children? That's no small task. Now on the other end of the spectrum, studies have also shown that women who have kids that are greater than five years apart also seem to have an increase in complications like preeclampsia, low birth weight, and preterm labor. We're not exactly sure why, but one of the theories is that as a woman gets older, um, the number of health issues she has usually increases. There's obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, and all of those things put a woman at greater risk for complications during pregnancy. So the take home message is that if you're thinking about having another baby and you have any questions about how far apart they should be, it's always a good idea to talk with your doctor. They know what your past pregnancy history is, they know what your health history is, and can give you the best advice and help you make the best decision for you and your family. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.